12 extinct animals that can be brought back with science. Number 12, the Dusky Seaside Sparrow. It was during the construction of the Kennedy Space Center on Merritt Island in 1965 that NASA was facing a problem that they hadn't foreseen. The area was completely infested with mosquitoes. They ended up flooding the marshes to kill the larvae and also destroyed the sparrow's only habitat. The sparrows were never able to bounce back from that and the last sparrow who lived in captivity, named Orange Band, died in 1987. Its heart and lungs were removed in order to preserve some type of DNA that could be used to maybe one day bring the species back. Number 11, the gastric brooding frog. The Australian frog doesn't seem like anything all too special. However, scientists were never really given a chance to study these creatures in depth. Found back in 1972, the gastric brooding frog species would be declared as extinct a mere nine years later. This frog was bestowed with a unique ability when it came to its offspring. These frogs were able to transform their stomachs into a womb and then give birth to their young by throwing them up straight out of its mouth. This is possible by how the frog is able to redirect its stomach acids into a different part of its body, while its stomach floats to such an immense size that the lungs will eventually collapse, forcing the frog to breathe through its skin. It was announced that a zoology professor by the name of Michael Archer, who works at the University of New South Wales, is leading the way to help this creature once again breathe, and his attempts are actually working. Number 10, the Carolina parakeet. The Carolina parakeet was driven to extinction in 1918 by man due to overhunting them for the brightly colored feathers that were used in hats and clothes. Thankfully, multiple specimens were preserved and the mitochondrial DNA was extracted from pieces of eggshells by the New York State Museum. The Nande parakeet has even been considered as a possible surrogate. However, plans to bring back this species aren't official, even though multiple historians and biologists have hounded the possibility of such a project for years. Number 9. The Moa. This species of bird was once the largest to roam the earth, standing at 12 feet tall and weighing around 500 pounds, living off a herbivore diet. Moas were a class of flightless birds that resembled our modern day versions of emus and ostriches, except unlike these two species, moas didn't have vestigial wings. In total, there were six different species of moa that called the forests of New Zealand home. It was 600 years ago that they were wiped out due to hunting from the indigenous people named the Maori, and their DNA has managed to stay intact within ancient eggshells. Projects to clone the moa are already being attempted. Number 8. The Irish Elk one of the biggest issues in trying to bring back a creature from the land of the dead is finding a closely related animal that is able to act as a surrogate for the species. This proves to be even more of a challenge with the case of the Irish elk as it grew to be 7 feet tall with antlers that stood 14 feet on their own. Well luckily, it was recently discovered by researchers at the University College of London that Irish elks are closely related to the fallow deer. They're currently mapping the elk's DNA from the sample of a 13,000 year old fossil. The animal once roamed all throughout Europe, including Northern Asia and Africa, along with some places even in China. Number seven, the Stellar's sea cow. This distant relative of the modern day manatee was first discovered back in 1741, just off the coast of the Bering Island near Russia. The Stellar sea cow was known for being slow, big, and an unusually terrible swimmer for a creature that lived submerged in water. By the time this species was discovered, it had already had a poor population that had dwindled to so little that the species could only be found in the area where it was discovered. They were finally considered extinct in 1768. It's been around 250 years since they were alive, but their bones are still washing up on shores and even a Russian research group has mapped the animal's DNA sequence. Number six, the dodo. Quite possibly the world's most famously known extinct animal is the dim-witted dodo bird that was driven to extinction only 80 years ago, though it's not their fault. The dodo was a natural inhabitant of the island of Meridius, where it lived peacefully with no fear of any apex predators, which would ultimately lead to its downfall. The bird evolved to not fear humans, and was therefore easily killed by being clubbed to death. Their DNA was just retrieved from the Oxford University Museum of Natural History, in hopes to create a clone that would be able to be born from modern day pigeons that are closely related. Number 5. The Passenger Pigeon 
The passenger pigeon was a species that was once incredibly plentiful across the eastern and central United States back in the 1800s. Sadly, because these birds were described as being quite tasty, they were also easy to kill, which contributed to the species being completely wiped out in the early 1900s. The last known passenger pigeon, named Martha, died back in 1914. It's Martha's DNA that is currently being used by the University of California to de-extinct the species. The potential is there as they have well-preserved samples of DNA and closely related species that can serve as potential surrogates. Number 4. The Pyrenean Ibex Bringing an extinct animal back to life seems like something out of a science fiction movie, however it's technically already been accomplished. The Pyrenean Ibex was recently the first extinct animal to cross back into the realm of the living. Well, for 7 minutes at least. The cloned fetus was created by using the reanimated DNA from the last known living Ibex and was successfully born after being inserted into the womb of a goat. Unfortunately, the Ibex died seven minutes later due to complications with its lungs. Number three, the woolly mammoth. The woolly mammoth is perhaps the best choice out of all these creatures to be brought back from the dead because it could potentially be successful. Mammoths haven't roamed the earth for the last 200,000 years as they managed to die out during the last ice age, but the fact that they died in a region that is still pretty much frozen to this day means scientists have been able to find the most well-preserved mammoth samples. <laughs> Number 2. The Woolly Rhinoceros The woolly mammoth wasn't the only enormous creature with tons of fur to walk the frozen Pleistocene tundra. It's believed that the woolly rhino treaded the Earth's arctic snow around 10,000 years ago. This animal was even depicted in caves near the France region. Just like the woolly mammoth, the woolly rhino possesses the same great potential to be resurrected from the afterlife. The frozen carcasses are some of the best preserved samples of DNA thanks to the ice-cold temperatures of the arctic permafrost. Number 1. The Thylacine More commonly referred to as the Tasmanian Tiger, this animal was officially proclaimed as extinct in 1986, even though 50 years had passed since the last time anyone saw one alive. Tasmania was once teeming with these creatures, so much so that back in the 1800s, they were becoming a problem for local farmers, and the government decided to pay people for every tiger they killed. It was hunted to the brink of extinction, and the last known Tasmanian tiger died back in 1936. Thankfully, in 1918, the Museum of Victoria saved several tigers in tubs of alcohol, and the University of Melbourne has used the DNA to successfully piece the animal's genome and inserted it into the embryo of a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> 